In this video, I'm going to introduce you with the smallest ESP32 C3 development board. Yaar, ye bahut hi zyada chota development board hai that can easily get hidden beside the thumb. Like mere angute ke piche to chup jata hai. So yeah, this is the Xiao ESP32 C3 development board from Seed Studio and in this video, I'm going to let you know everything about this board like what are specifications, what are its configurations, how to use it with Arduino IDE and also we'll discuss are the commonly available iot platforms are compatible with this board like hum blink or rain maker isme use kar sakte hai ya nahi kar sakte everything will be checking and testing in this video so after watching this video you'll easily get to learn all the things about this board and also be clear what kind of applications you can make using this board so before starting this video If you are new to this channel, well, consider subscribing because I come up with these kind of getting started videos of the latest and greatest development boards in the field of IoT, automation, and electronics. Uh, that being said, let us start with the smallest ESP32 development board. Let's get started. Do you know what most electronic companies have something in common? Well, it's the tool that they use for making their products, and the most commonly used tool that almost all the big electronic companies uses is the LTM PCB designer software. Using LTM, you can definitely level up your PCB designing skills and make something really professional out of it. And now, along with the integration of Octopart, searching for any electronic components globally becomes really very easy. Octopart is kind of Google for just electronic components where you can search for any electronic parts and get their information all on one single web page. So do check out this amazing search engine made just for electronic components. I'll leave the link for this down in the description. Do check it out. So this is how we received this product in a cute plastic wrapper. So first, let's unbox it. Oh, sorry, let's unwrap it first. So inside this, we get the actual C3 board. and a patch antenna which we can easily connect with the board so that's all about the unboxing part now let us talk about the actual board so this board is from the shao family of seed studio which do have couple of other members like shao rp2040 shao samd21 and so on so this series has some of the really small development boards that are available in the market so our today's focus is about the shao esp32 c3 board and as the name suggests it is based on the esp32 c3 chipset and now if i talk about the configurations of the c3 chip then c3 is a 32 bit single core risc phi architecture based microcontroller with built in wifi and bluetooth version 5 it is clocked at 160 megahertz frequency and it has built in 400 kilo bytes of asram and the chip that comes along with this board has built in 4 mb of flash memory now if we talk about the specification of the shao board then this board comes with 11 gpio pins out of which all the pins can be used as pwm pin while four pins can be used as analog pins it also has the pins for i2c spi and uart communication now on the board we get two push buttons out of which one is the boot button and other is the reset button this board also has a battery connector at the back and has built in battery charging circuit we can power up the board and program it using the type c connector and it also has a small built in led but that led is not attached to any gpio while that led is a battery charging indicator led and we get all this thing at an insanely small size of just 21 by 17.5 mm which is really very small now to show you the actual size then here is the regular esp32 vrom chip near to it which is slightly bigger than shao also here is the m5 stem pico board which is an esp32 pico based development board which is also slightly bigger than shao but still lacks with built in programming circuit so at present this is the smallest esp32 development board that i have in my studio So the specs, configurations and size seems pretty interesting and you can get all this thing at just $5 which is incredible. I'll leave its purchase link down in the description of this video. Okay so after completely learning about this board, now let's jump on to Arduino IDE and let's see how to program it. 
Okay, so now let's just see how to program this SHA of C3 using the Arduino IDE. And for that, you need to have the ESP32 Boards Package version 2 installed on your Arduino IDE. For that, just go to Arduino into Preferences. And here inside this, you need to paste the link given in the description. Okay, I'll provide this link in the description. Okay, click on the OK button, click on OK once again. And after that, you need to go to Tools, into the Boards, and then into Boards Manager. Here just type out ESP32 and here you need to install this ESP32 boards package version 2. That's it. Click on the close button and now we are good to go to upload our first sketch onto the ESP32 C3 shower board. For that just go to tools and here first of all select the right board from the ESP32 boards package version and uh, the right board for this is Shao ESP32 C3. Okay, just select that. Now after that let's try with the basic blink example code. So I'll open the basic and blink example code and here uh, I'll change this built-in LED to pin D10 because hey come on this board don't have any built-in LED so I'll change it to D10 and I'll select the right COM port which is connected to this now here it is showing as ESP32 S3 development board but it's not S3 it's C3 I don't know why it is showing S3 here but I'll select that and directly hit the upload button let me just open up my smartphone's camera to let you see the results. Okay, so it's compiling sketch right now and it is under process. And here is the C3, Shao C3 board on which I have connected the digital, uh, I connect the LED on digital pin 10 and it started uploading. And as you can see, the LED started blinking on the board. So no need to press any boot or reset button. And uh, yeah, the programming part is also very straightforward. It's, it's just like programming any other ESP3 development board. You just need to have the you know right board package installed in it. So yeah, it's really very easy. And now uh, let's see if the popular IoT platforms like Blink and ESP Maker are supported with the C3 chip or not. So I'll try to upload this sketch for both Blink and Rainmaker and we'll let you know the result. Okay, so here is the sample example code for Blink IoT platform and I have written it particularly for the shower board and in this code what I did is I just added an LED at the D10 pin. Okay, so that's just a variable. I created a new Blink uh, uh, template and project inside the Blink platform. So that is pretty common. I won't go into detail about creating the new Blink project because we are just testing the board and not the playing platform. So we added the authentication token, the SID name and password here. And on the virtual pin V1, we have attached the uh, you know, uh, button. And based on the status of the button, we are turning on and off the LED. So that's a basic example code we have written for the Blink IoT platform. And let's just try to select the right board and COM port and hit the upload button. And after that, let us see if this works with Blink or not. Perfect. As you can see, we are easily able to control the LED via Blink mobile application in real time. So yeah, hence proved Blink is supported in C3 chipset and it will work flawlessly in Xiao ESP32 C3 board. Okay, now let's move ahead and test this board with the ESP Rainmaker platform. Will it work or not? Well, let's just have a look. Okay, so here is the example code for Xiao board written for the ESP Rainmaker platform. And here also I have attached only one single pin at D10 and I'll just try to turn on and off that, you know, LED using the Rainmaker platform. After that, the GPU reset button is of course uh, attached at D0 pin. So here the GPI 0 and D0 both are two different pins. Okay, so here I specifically use D0 pins because that pin is accessible inside the shower board. Okay, you can change it according to your choice, your need. Okay, and after that, uh, the rest of the code is uh, pretty straightforward, just like we do have in the regular ESP Rainmaker code. Okay, everything is pretty common. Uh, and what I have did here is I have just added a callback function, which is this right callback function. And based upon the status of the button received, we are just turning on and off the relay, ultimately the LED on the board. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'll select the right board and port, which is already selected and I directly hit the upload button. So after this code gets uploaded, let us test if it works with the Rainmaker or not. Okay, so here as you can see, I'm able to control that LED using the ESP Rainmaker mobile platform. So it is perfectly working with the Rainmaker platform as well. So Alexa, turn off relay. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay. Okay. Turn off relay. Turn on relay. 
Okay, turning on the relay. So there are an endless possibilities of the projects that you can make using this uh, Xiao C3 board using multiple IoT platforms. Now let's attach a battery on the back side of the Xiao board and let's see if it works with the battery or not. Let's test it out. So I shouldered the small battery on the back side of the Xiao module and as the module was already having the Blink code in it, I tested it with the Blink mobile application and as you can see, it is working flawlessly. So this whole module is working on the battery and not only that, as I said, this module also has a built-in battery charging module. We can charge the battery by attaching the USB Type-C cable and as you can see, the charging LED also turned on. So yeah, there's a small charging indicator LED on the top of the board. So yeah, that was all about the specifications, configurations, size and all other features of this board and I hope you got to know about how to use this board for making your IoT projects or maybe battery based IoT projects as well. I totally recommend this board as this board really justify, uh, justify its price like at a $5 you're getting the development board with a built in charging circuit as well and with a 11 GPIO pins to be used. So yeah, uh, I'll definitely recommend this to you. Its link is down in the description. Also do click the like button if you find this video interesting and helpful. Also do let me know in the comments about what will you make if you have this small Xiao C3 board with you also suggest us like what should we make on this board like what kind of project should we make do let me know your suggestions your thoughts down in the comments of the video also subscribe this channel for more such interesting and unique getting started videos of some interesting and new latest development boards in the field of iot electronics and yeah that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next other explore learn share with me techie sms